Here's an example showing both joint distributions and joint probabilities as well as marginal or unconditional distributions and probabilities. So to keep it simple, we'll just have two binary variables. So first we'll have y, which is defined using the indicator function for whether an individual is employed. So this notation means y equals 1 if the individual is employed, and y equals 0 if not. Then x will also be defined using an indicator function for whether that same individual is married. So x equals 1 if they are, x equals 0 if not. So the joint distribution would be the consist of all the joint probabilities of all the possible values of the pair x, y. So in this case, we can either have, so here's the joint, actually. Let's put that a little farther down. So we can either have x equals 0 or x equals 1. I'm going to make a box here. And then we can either have y equals 0 or y equals 1. So there's four possibilities. Either somebody is not employed and not married. That's this box on the top left. They are not employed and married down here. Or they are employed, not married here. Or both employed and married here. So. Here we can write the four corresponding probabilities of those different possibilities. So just for the sake of example, we could imagine there's a 10% probability of neither. There's a 60% probability of both. There's a 10% or point 0.1 probability of not married, employed. And then we know, since these are the only four possibilities, they have to sum to 100%. So that leaves us with 0.2 or 20% down in the bottom left. So this gives us a lot of detail. Sometimes it's more than we actually need. You can imagine maybe we're only interested in x in the distribution of x. Well, in that case, this gives us all the information we need. We just need to take sums across the rows to get the marginal distribution of x or the unconditional distribution of x. So. If we add the first row, we get 20% as the probability that x equals 0. If we sum across the second row, we get 80% as the probability that x equals 1. So these two marginal probabilities together give us the marginal distribution of x. Similarly, if we are interested in the marginal distribution of y or the unconditional distribution of y, we can do the same thing but with the summing the across each column. So here we would get 0.30 is the probability that 
y equals zero in the population and 70% for the other option. Now to get intuition, just personally, what helps me is instead of thinking about you know, decimals or percentages and probabilities, uh, it helps me to just think, okay, what if we had 100 people in the population? So then we can multiply each of these probabilities by 100 to think about that's how many people would be in each box. So in this case, if we had here, keeping the same labels, I'd think about having 10 out of our 100 people who are neither employed nor married, 10 people who are not married but are employed, 60 people who are both, and 20 people who are uh, not employed but are married. So that sort of the joint distribution gives us each specific type of person, how, how much of the population they are, and then that also helps me think about the marginals. If we just said, you know, what about X? We could easily see, okay, well, there's 80 people here who are married out of the 100 total. Or we could see there are 70 out of our 100 individuals who are employed. And that gives us, that's analogous to our 70% marginal employment probability over here.